I suppose it's a, a normal-ish day for us. We've got to go and sort out the sheep. We're going to move them into a field that we have the cows in. It's called mob grazing. It's really great for the land, so we'll show you how we're going to do that. Before we do that, I look a bit like a caveman. Um, so we're going to cut my hair. Uh, about to have what we call a forgotten homestead haircut, thanks to Yvonne. Yeah, it's my job. So that's one of the things that you learn about living a life that is as self-sustainable as possible it means that you have to acquire new skills. Now, I've never cut hair before, but you know, we're gonna give it a go. What's the worst can go wrong? I'm hoping it grows back. Who knows? <laughs> so we've got the stuff. Um, now we're gonna go somewhere where it doesn't create so much mess, hopefully. So we're, out, we're gonna go get out of the uh, caravan and um, yeah, see where it goes from there. A big thanks to the first 90 people who have subscribed. It's really appreciated on, on the little uh, Forgotten Homestead. New haircut. I mean, there's not a lot left. There was never a lot there in the first place, so it's all good. It's not perfect, but <laughs> uh, it'll do. One minor injury, uh, a little cut on the lip there. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. But not bad for first attempt, was it really? Okay, so now it's time to go and sort out the sheep. Oh, huh. I'm Blimey. sorry. <laughs> Hop into the tractor, head over to the sheep field. On the way, we're going to pick up some gates to stop the sheep running off down the road or however. So we're going to go and do that now. Oh, tried to farm when we first got here without a tractor. <laughs> And it was almost impossible. So we bit the bullet and got ourselves one. It's old, but it works really well. It's just the right sort of size. It's amazing the amount of stuff you need to pick up and move around. That, that's our little tractor. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, hop in it and get stuff done. Either sends you forward 
or backwards once it's in gear, which is great. And it's got, oh my, so many gears. There we go, right, off we go. If you like driving stuff, it's great fun. And I like driving stuff. forest on it it's sort of got what they call a deer fence so it's about I don't know seven eight foot high and it's got a big gate in it so we have to open that each time otherwise there'll be no trees left my job yeah job The other great thing is it's got two seats so we can both sit in here quite comfortably and get on with the things that we need to do. And the sheep are waiting for us, or some of the sheep are waiting for us up by the gate. So we're always overly cautious because as well behaved as animals are when you're moving around you just never know what's going to happen so we tend to go a bit over the top and put fences out so that they follow the right sort of go in the right direction eventually um, just keeps us from running up and down fields when sheep are in the wrong place so yeah that's what I'm going to do now put these gates over here so we can get them into that field over there which is great.
so it worked the first time which is a bit of a miracle um, all these sheep just didn't stop running so they're down there which is gonna be quite hard for me to introduce you to them but uh, <laughs> that worked really well we called them across came running straight across into the field the cows were really like okay not a problem at all so a good day that doesn't usually happen there's always something that goes wrong and it's not the end of the day yet so that could still be the case <laughs> but yeah so they're all over there um, that's a little introduction so this whoop, and that is Barra then that is Ruby and I can do this there we go that is Kubota and in the background that's winter and then all the way back there that's the newest one that's sky and unfortunately you can only see the back ends of two of them but yeah they love then obviously Barra is much much bigger let's see if I can get that much much bigger so uh, and she's got sort of handlebar horns like a sort of Harley Davidson cool you can see them sort of I can do this in reverse there you see Kubota uh, has wonky horns so one goes forward and one goes up into the back but she sort of it's not a, she likes humans Clara's a bit wary still oh hello yes hello and they love being scratched under their head oh there you go under there I mean this is a little bit yeah it's a heat for winter but there we go all right Katie um Farah's better because she would never let us get particularly close. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, it's the yeah, wonky horns right there. Sorry, I should have known that. Sorry. Sorry, get you two confused, don't I? Hey? Oh, hi. The way I know them is um, Kubota loves coming over for a scratch. And Ruby's still very, very, very wary of, of humans. This is Sky. This is the newest member of the Forgotten Homestead family, and she is super lovely and very, very soft. Um, it's taken her maybe a week or two to get used to being in a new place and new people, but as you can see, she is uh, enjoying a good back scratch. <laughs> The great thing about highland cows and the reason they can stay out in the harshest of winters and the warmest of summers up here is because they have two coats. Now this coat that's coming out of my hand is their winter coat, the longer one that sits on the top. It's the one that you see in all the photos because it sort of flows in the wind and it looks rather lovely. Um, but underneath that you probably can't see but there's a much lighter, almost wool-like, lower um, and protects them from any elements up here. So, yeah, that is winter coat. Thanks again for watching the Forgotten Homestead. It's really appreciated. And thanks again to all those people who have subscribed. It's really, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. And I'm sure these guys appreciate it as well. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you get a chance and you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe down there. If you've got any questions, please put them in the space below. We'll try everything we can to answer them either in another video or directly. Um, yeah, have a great rest of your day. It's been, yeah, <laughs> a good one here. Take care.